how to use the join tool in Illustrator. I'm using CC220, but you could use 219, etc. You can find the join tool, just go up to the tools there, shape tool, and just below join tool. With that selected, you can join as well as trim some paths, open paths. I'm just going to show a variety. The join tool is not perfect, I don't think. It's one of those tools that seems to work when it seems to have a mind to work. So you've got some two standard paths there. Go to the join tool, make certain they're both selected. And if you go along the bottom, now that doesn't join. Personally, I think it should, but it doesn't. If you go to the top ones where it's close, it will join, but it will join as a point right at the far top. So that's one example. Again, you can go and select the line tool and create another. Line. Now this is to show an example of the trimming effect. So again, make certain both are selected. Go to the join tool. And if you go across the top, suddenly that's it. But if you go across the bottom, it will be the same. It will just chop the bits where the lines are shortest, seems to be the approach that they've used. So if you go across there, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It just suddenly decides, yes, I will trim that for you. So you've got your design there. And that's just using the join or a trim tool. So you can just see, it just removes that top part. The join tool does seem to have a mind of its own. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate, just move it down a bit, just change the position slightly. See so now you've got the ones at the top are longer than the ones at the bottom. And again, go to the join tool. What you can do then, if you go across the top, it doesn't do anything. Go across the bottom, it does something. Deletes or trims the bottom part. Just leaving the longer lines. And they're joined together as a sing single path. If you make something like with a curve tool, curvature tool, you can really make some very unusual designs and you can try and trim with that. And again, it has a mind of its own, how it will trim it. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. Anyway, just creating some more lines there. And you can see at this point, you've just got that gap between the two there. And it will create a point, sharp point. Now it doesn't join in the sense that straight. It's a real pity there's no preference. I would love to see a preference there where you can just say, join the the shortest distance possible preference. There isn't that feature. Not that I'm aware of anyway. Maybe someone in the comments will put a comment saying, yes, there is. That'd be really great if they can correct me on that. So you've got the design here. And you've got, I haven't finished obviously the whole the square. Just go from that point to the other point and then just use the join tool and it will just create the complete square rhombus, you want to call it. It will also reflect if you've got various width profiles as well, that will be used as well. Now I'm just going to quickly create with the curvature tool. So I create a quick curve there. Now it doesn't work out the, the curve for you. So it will not curve it nicely for you. The curvature tool will, at this point, just create a straight line, straight to that point. So it completely closes that path for you. Which is nice. You can, of course, then you have to manipulate that part of the path if you wish to modify it and make it more curved. I'm going to show you now, again with the curvature tool, two separate curved lines. I'll just go around there and create that nice curve there. And you can join that as well. Again, it will 
not make a great curve for you. So again, with both selected, that's the key thing. Just go over there and just draw between the two. And you can see there's a slight kink in that. So it's not a lovely curve. Again, you have to manipulate it further. And you can do similar with just using the standard pen tool. But you can use these with brushes as well. So if you draw something with like brushes multiple, that will be taken over. Also, if you apply styles as well, that will be also reflected. So that will change as well. So I'm just going to draw some lines using the pen tool. This is very similar to the line tool, of course, at the start. So you've got that design there. And again, it will not join the shortest distance. It will make a sharp point. And it won't join the, see the bottom points. This is to go on to the next point. You can use the pen tool. And of course, you, what you can do, you can actually, just I'm just going to quickly show you, change the angle. If you change the angle too extreme, what will happen? It will not join it. Even though you think, well, it's, why not? There's obviously clearly something in the join tool that says, nope, I am not going to join that together. So if you go across that one, nope. Not going to do it. Might do it next week. I don't know. It does seem to have a mind of its own. A cut-off point, maybe 45 degrees, 30 degrees. I'm not certain. Perhaps someone could put some comments saying, yes, it's 30 degrees. That would be great. The join tool does have its issues, I think. Now, this is a classic case where sometimes it will work and sometimes it doesn't. In pre-runs of this tutorial, I tried it and it wouldn't join the pass. So I'm just creating two paths, slightly separated, and then I'm applying the join tool. This time, it does join the pass. If I create four lines, you'd think at this point, I will be able to join them all together. Use the join tool just to draw over and join all of the lines together. Perhaps it may work. This time, it doesn't. You can just go across it and it will not work. All the lines are still separate. Even if you go and select just two of the lines, and that's the key thing, you have to select them, it will ignore it. It will not join those lines. It's very strange. I would recommend you try the Join tool. Use it in Join and Trim of your pass. Sometimes you just may find it doesn't work. You can try the join tool, nothing. Please put a bug report into Adobe. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Fancy Photo, Designer, and many others. Please add a comment or two. Always appreciated. Thank you much for that. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.